Yo, New York Yankees fans, yet again, it is Felix from NYNews.com, like always, hola, como estas, reporting live from the capital of the Dominican Republic, Santo Domingo. As we have heard, Gary Sanchez is no longer a New York Yankee. In my opinion, they should have traded him years ago for JT Real Muto, but hey, he's no longer a Yankee. But the thing that confuses me the most is you traded him along with Gio Urshela, and you acquired a ball player in Joss Donaldson that can't stand <laughs> Gary Cole. So if you ask me, uh, there's been there's been rumors that uh, Cole has been some sort of a like a clubhouse cancer. So why would you get somebody like Donaldson, whom we've seen them go back and forth in the press, uh, not even that long ago? It just tells me that. Josh Donaldson is going to be more of a clubhouse presence to, let's say, control uh, a personality like Gary Cole. But that's just my opinion. There's no facts to it. It's just speculation by me. As for this trade overall, it makes absolutely zero sense to me. I know a lot of people love it. I mean, it's great that Gary Sanchez is no longer a Yankee. His time was well overdue. But Gary Sanchez could have really benefited from that DH spot being opened. That trade for John Carlos Stanton really hurt his chances. As of now, he could have been a Yankee currently still if he had more access to that DH row. As we've seen that he's the type of player that couldn't handle going out there catching all those ball games and juggling between batting and playing defense. So you replace Gio with a 37-year-old in Donaldson. Makes absolutely zero sense. The uh, shortstop they acquired seems legit, but it does hurt the chances of the Yankees going out there and signing a Carlos Correa. But the door is still open that the Yankees make a trade for the Oakland Athletics Matt Olson. Again, the Yankees got a catcher as well in that trade. I believe his name is Revert or something like that. I really don't know much about him, but he's built like a tank. He's basically built like uh, Luke Voigt, muscular dude. Who, who knows if he could become a sleeper Yankees that becomes great. You know how Gio Urshela became great with the Yankees, like how Luke Voigt became great with the Yankees. By the way, Luke Voigt is not going to be a Yankee for long as well. So, I don't know, a confusing trade. Sure, we need to get rid of Gary Sanchez, but this is the way that we did it. The Twins and the Yankees have a history of trades. If you recall, uh, the trade for uh, Chuck Knobloch, uh, the Twins got uh, Christian Guzman and Eric Milton. Most recent trades include uh, Aaron Hex, etc. But if you uh, look through the history, uh, you'll see that the Twins have won these trades when they decide to trade with the Yankees. I'm not saying that this trade is going to be a bust, but this is the avenue that the Yankees took to uh, get rid of Gary Sanchez. Uh, hmm, kind of fishy. There's, there has to be something more to this. There has to be a bigger signing on the way or trade on the way. Overall, like I said, it's great that you traded Gary Sanchez, but they fumbled the ball uh, seasons ago when they had a chance to uh, trade Gary for JT. I don't know, just a weird trade overall. I'm not excited about it. It just feels weird. Like, I could understand Gary Sanchez, but Gio, replacing him with Josh Donaldson? I mean, Gio could have been your uh, backup shortstop as well. I know the Yankees are loaded with uh, shortstops, but... Gio was versatile everywhere. I mean, really? People are excited about this trade? I am not. So I'm sorry about the uh, 19.95 microphone because I am on the road right now. But what do you guys think? Leave your opinions in the comment section below. Is this just the uh, precursor to a bigger move that the Yankees are planning? As of now, it makes abs this trade it makes zero sense. I'm sorry about that. Great. The only thing that makes sense is uh, that you hadn't trained Gary Sanchez. 
So, Yankees fans, leave your opinions in the comment section below. This has been Felix from n1news.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you all next time.